Staying on top of Microsoft Planner changes in Microsoft 365 can be a bit of a tough ask. But today, I'm going to be making it easy by showing you seven new and changing features in Microsoft Planner, which will improve how you manage your daily tasks, manage your plan, and even use AI to help you out. And at the end, well, I'll be covering also a big announcement from Microsoft around the future of one of its main project management apps. But before we dive in, did you know that over 90% of you who watch regularly aren't subscribed to our channel? If you've ever found one of our tutorials helpful, can you please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It really helps the channel, and the bigger this channel gets, the more tutorials I can bring you every single week. And before we head into Microsoft Planner, I also wanted to say a quick thank you to TeamFlect, the sponsor of today's video. TeamFlect provide an all-in-one performance management solution built directly into Microsoft Teams. And we'll find out a little bit more about that later on. So let's dive into Planner and find out what's new. So let's check out a new feature inside of My Day and in My Tasks. That is here that we can see a grid view of all of the tasks coming up today. Now we've seen this of course before, but we can now head to the board option and we can now see your day's tasks situated in a board. We can now see any task due today, which is of course not very helpful, but in the top right, we can select the group by and then change it to these different options. For example, let's set it by plan. And now we can see all tasks that are due for a particular plan. Once again, click on group by plan and now change it to progress. And you can see it in much the same. And just like the board view in any other of our plans, well, we can left click and drag these cards to change the progress and move them forward across your different plans. So it's a real powerful way now inside of My Day to use the board view. But as I mentioned, this new change is also available inside of My Tasks. Yes, you have your old grid view that we've been used to for many years. But in the board view, well, you see the same experience. We can also begin to change the tasks based upon your private or Microsoft to-do tasks. Let's look at tasks that have been assigned to you across all of your planned or flagged emails. Once again, you have the ability to use the group by dropdown and change this board view into different views to make it more organized for your own needs. So you can use these two new boards in my day and in my tasks. And let's now access one of my basic plans and have a look at some new capability to allow us to bulk update tasks. Yes, we can now go ahead and left click and highlight your columns. When you've done that, you can click on the right click option and now you can choose from a range of different options. Let's go ahead and assign all of this work to Alex very quickly in one single click. So you can now see we can change these tasks using a bulk editing capability. So what we haven't seen before in the basic version of Microsoft Planner. And whilst we're working in this plan, we also have now the ability to drag and drop different columns and change the layout based on your personal preferences. For example, I'd rather see progress next to the assignment. I can go ahead and left click progress and drag it to the order that I now prefer. You can now see the assignment column and the progress is now shown side by side, allowing us to customize our plans with the ability to drag and drop your columns. This is also shared in other capability. For example, let's go ahead and open the My Task view and inside of our grid, well, once again, I wanna see my due date next to the task name. So I can left click my due date and then place it next to the task name. This ability to drag and drop your columns is also supported in experiences like My Tasks, as well as shared plans in Microsoft Planner. And we can now also give our planner basic plans some design. By clicking into your plan name drop down and then selecting plan details, on the right hand side, we now get suggested backgrounds powered by Microsoft Designer. We can choose any of these here by left clicking and I'll now apply into our plan. Now giving it a bit more of a design, what we had in the basic version of planner with a simple white background. So you can now begin to change your planner basic plans and use designs to also spruce them up a little. Before we continue exploring what's new in Microsoft Planner, I would like to take a moment to share more about today's video sponsor, TeamFlect. TeamFlect is an all-in-one performance and people management platform that's embedded inside of Microsoft 365. 
Yes, that's Microsoft Teams and Outlook too. It's designed to help you manage goals, employee onboarding, one-to-one -one meetings, feedback, performance reviews, and yes, even task management with synchronization into Microsoft Planner. So if you're already using Microsoft 365 and want to improve your team's performance, while well, TeamFlex can bring all of it into one seamless experience without you and your team having to leave the apps you're already working in every single day. And the best part, you can try TeamFlex for free today using the link in the video description below. It's a great way to explore how it can improve your team's productivity and engagement. So now you've improved your team's performance, let's head back into Planner and continue to find out what's new. And you may remember from our earlier tutorials that we could use a new AI project manager inside of Planner to create a new project plan using the power of AI. But the limitation was this experience wasn't available to our existing plans. But now inside of Planner Premium, when you go ahead and open up your plan and you have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license, you will now have access to Project Manager inside of your existing plans. You can see an immediate change by going to the bottom and you'll see a Project Manager Agent icon. Left click it and this opens a sidebar for our new Project Manager experience. And inside of here, well, we can use Project Manager to ask questions of our plan. This is effectively a replacement from the old co-pilot capability that you may have seen before in some of our past tutorials. Let's go ahead and give our project manager a question and see how it works on top of our existing plan. And the first question I've asked are what are the tasks which are overdue? We can see here the project manager agent has now identified across the whole plan where these tasks have become overdue. We can also ask it further questions. How about we try and break this down a little bit further into who in within the plan has had the most work allocated to them in terms of hours of workload. We can see once again Project Manager has now identified it's myself. I've got 184 hours of work to complete across 8 tasks and a breakdown of the next highest resourced individuals. We can also break it down further. Let's ask Project Manager to show a breakdown of hours per person who has been allocated work inside of our plan. We can see once again, Project Manager has now identified the tasks and the hours assigned to each of the individuals inside of our plan. Pretty powerful to use just through that conversation in the right hand sidebar. But also we can go further with the new Project Manager agent. Let's go ahead and create a set of tasks for contract closure, which will occur at the end of our project, which needs to review the contract deliverables and sign offs for payment and Project Manager will now begin to create the set of tasks inside of our live plan. And there we go, we can now see the tasks that are being created here. I'd now possibly group this as a subtask to also put it under this closing section of our plan itself. But you can now see that a Project Manager agent with this existing co-pilot capability is now available and it's always going to be shown on your Planner Premium plans here with this new agent icon. And as well as the new experiences for Project Manager inside of your existing plans to create tasks and review them, we also now have the report section, allowing us to generate a report on your existing Planner Premium plans. By selecting reports and then get started on the right hand side, we can ask your Project Manager to report over a period of time. Let's look at it over the last one month. And I can now cover what our status report should include, so I can share this with our program management team Let's go ahead and add some information, ensuring we're covering all the high priority actions and where we're overdue in our plan. With that now done, I'll go ahead and click on generate. And this can take a few minutes whilst the project manager agent begins to look across your plan and now summarize it into a new report that you could now share with your peers, which we'll do once it's been generated here. And after a few short minutes, we now have our status report created. It outlines the reporting period for the last one month it includes the status of the project being at risk due to several high priority actions and critical early stage tasks that are now overdue. It includes a task completion chart, a little bit more about the project in the overall timeline, as well as highlights and achievements and more. Now with this information, we could also take it and share it in my program management team. Would that mean I have to then recreate this report? Well no, because it's powered by Microsoft Loop as well, this is now a Loop page and we can now easily 
click on copy component to then copy this. And we can head into our program management team in Microsoft Teams and simply post in a channel and then paste in our loop page. We can now see our page is shown in the team, but some people don't have access. So let's select give access into the page itself and then select post. This is now available for the program management team to view. It's been shared directly from my Microsoft planner using the project manager capability. And as I mentioned, this new capability is available inside of your existing plans. And all you'll need is a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. And finally, there's an important change on Microsoft, which was recently announced. And it will also affect many of you that may have used projects online previously, because now Microsoft have announced the retirement of projects online. This means that the cloud-based Project Online service will no longer be able to be purchased from the 1st of October 2025, but you can continue to use it up until the 30th of September 2026. Now that doesn't mean the desktop version of Project is changing and nor is Project Server either, but this change in Project Online is part of a new steer to move to newer solutions like Planner and Planner Premium including these new project management capabilities that you've seen today using AI. And I guess we can be hardly surprised either, as Planner Premium is built using Project Online capabilities. So if you're actively using Project Online today, then it's time to consider using Planner Premium as an alternative moving forward. And I've linked the official Microsoft announcement in the video description below, where you can find out more in terms of what you can do next. If of course so, you're already using Planner Premium or Microsoft Planner today, there's no change to how you work. But this is an important announcement and it's one I didn't want you to miss out on because of course this now means the end of Project Online. So there you have it, seven new features and updates in Microsoft Planner that do move things forward, especially the rollout of Project Manager AI capabilities into your existing Planner Premium plans. That now makes AI more accessible in Microsoft Planner, which of course is a positive thing. But whilst there is progress, there's still more I'd personally love to see. And I know many of you feel the same. Planner should be the place where all of your tasks come together from Outlook, Teams, Loop and more. Yet right now, it's still missing capabilities of its newest competitors. So with the retirement of Project Online now on the roadmap, I really hope this signals a bigger push for innovation inside of Microsoft Planner. Because if Microsoft gets this right, it could really reshape how we all manage work with Planner and Task Management at the heart of what we do. But of course, let me know in the comments, which of these features are you most excited to try out? And what do you think Planner still needs to do next to win you over? And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like. If you haven't already, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our next upcoming tutorials every single week. And also a big thanks go out to TeamFlect for sponsoring today's video. TeamFlect provide an all-in-one performance management solution built directly into Microsoft Teams. And you can find out more how to improve your team's performance in the video description. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.